an easy way to get it. And they can cool down too on a warm, windy day. Windy <laughs> is the word word of preference today. Well, it really was. Dogs dried off quickly. Don't it, it wasn't just one spot. It was everywhere. The winds were blowing, uh, but we did find some folks enjoying the weather this evening in the wind. And this is uh, Puddle Mountain Ramblers that are playing in the background. Puddle Mountain Ramblers and all of their friends dancing, enjoying the Galvin Center and the weather outside. Really quite warm this evening. A very enjoyable time across the Salt Lake Valley, but we do have several lines of thunderstorms moving in, and this will not be the only time we will see those thunderstorms over the next several days. In the meantime, plenty of rain in Blanding picked up reports of puddling of water and uh, heavy rain showers in the Blanding area today. Just pockets of hit and miss showers. It is 75 degrees in Salt Lake City right now. Let's go to Live 5 Viper because all of a the sudden these thunderstorms that are over, are over northern Utah and parts of Wyoming are right there at Jackson Hole and uh, well up by the lake and now light to moderate showers pressed in northward. Uh, look at this thunderstorm that has developed north of Brigham City. So we have this first little batch of showers moving by and right now Right in the Brigham City Tremont area going northward, some brief, moderate, and even heavy rainfall there. So uh, that's something we'll have here and there tomorrow. I'm expecting a 20% chance, so uh, not a big chance around Salt Lake City as temperatures, well, they are going to be a little bit cooler, cooler than they were today by about 5 to 10 degrees. Blanding, 80, and there's that quarter of an inch of rain, but it came just like that. And Helen in Holiday reports a high of 88 and a low of 62 and a trace of rain. She said just enough to wet the ground down, not enough to measure. <laughs> Thanks, Helen, for reporting. Logan had 87 and 57, a little rain there. Montpelier, Steve Kuhn says 13 hundredths of an inch. Let it rain, he says. He's got everything all bailed up. The haze all bailed up. Let it rain. And, uh, and then later on, he'll uh, get that, uh, that, that uh, wheat, that uh, dry uh, farming wheat. Uh, together when it, it it isn't raining. I think I think that's the way it was. Anyway, he explained it to me. So, uh, 90 in Salt Lake City. Scott up in Mill Creek reports a high of 88 today, and uh, Larry reports temperatures in the mid 90s in portions of southern Utah. St. George, Larry Matthews reporting in. There is a big dry hole right over the central part of the state. The jet stream is now moving along at 125 miles per hour, and that is causing the winds at the surface to increase. So here's one disturbance. Here's another one and another one. So the next couple of days, we have several of these little weather systems that are going to move by. So even though it won't rain much tomorrow, the winds will blow. They'll be shifting back and forth from southerly to northerly, and then as this front goes by on Monday, there will be a chance for some showers and thunder showers, and oh, so much cooler on Monday. You haven't seen temperatures like this since May. In the temperature forecast for tomorrow, 70s and 80s, slight chance for thunderstorms where you see the green on the map and for St. George and vicinity. No rain here. Don't expect anything but wind. 84 in Delta and uh, 66 for the overnight low in St. George. Yeah, 87 tomorrow. We'll call it a windy day. Sunshine the next several days. Maybe some clouds later in the week. Along the Wasatch Front, we're kind of in that little uh, dry hole. <laughs> I wouldn't expect a lot of rain tomorrow, although it wouldn't be out of... You know, there's a slight chance we'll see a thunder shower. Mid to upper 70s, though, for highs. But Sunday night, Monday morning, that's it the best chance. Be and wow. then it's kind of a roller coaster ride the rest of the week. Okay, thank you.